بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم یکزنکای Dawood alayhi salam. Long, long time ago, after Prophet Musa or Moses and Prophet Shamil or Samuel passed away, the Israelites were ruled by wise king Talut. Talut organizes strong and well-trained army. He travelled with them across the land. Soon they reached the river. Talut knew that this was a test from Allah and warned his soldiers that they shouldn't drink more than just one sip of water from that river. But most of the soldiers did not listen to him and drank loads. Soon they encountered a huge Philistine army led by a giant called Jalut or Goliath. Many soldiers of Talut's army got scared and ran away. The remaining few prayed. Our Lord, pour patience on us. Make us stand firm and help us against the disbelievers. Rabbana afrif alayna sabran wa sabbit abdamana wansurna a'la al-kawmil kafirin. Goliath challenged any soldier from Talut's army to fight with him one-on-one, -on -one, which at that time was customary on battlefields. Talut offered that whoever fights Goliath will marry his daughter and get half of his kingdom. Hee <laughs> hello. A young boy stepped forward. His name was Dawood, or David, and he was a shepherd. He was travelling with the army, helping out the soldiers during their mission. He didn't want any armour or weapon. He took his slingshot and picked a few rocks up from the ground. Talut was impressed by Dawood's courage and bravery, but was also worried for his life. Dawood told Talut that in the past he managed to save his sheep and himself from an attack of a bear and a lion using only his slingshot and a stone. Talut eventually agreed for Dawood to fight Goliath. Dawood approached the giant. <laughs> Goliath laughed at the boy mockingly. Dawood asked Allah for help and pelted the first rock in the direction of his opponent. Ah! Bullseye. The rock hit Goliath's head and knocked him out. Israelites won the battle against the mighty Goliath and his Philistine army. Dawood married Talut's daughter and became the king of the conquered land, Jerusalem. Years later, Allah made Dawood a prophet and blessed him with great wisdom, beautiful voice and an ability to understand the language of animals. The story of Prophet Dawood teaches us that if we have faith in Allah, he's always there for us and with his help we can achieve anything. Thank you for watching.